A power supply in a cabinet of the cold aisle containment develops an overload. Smoke starts to rise out of the cabinet toward the air conditioning unit. The aspirating smoke detector reaches a pre-alarm level and sends the information to the extinguishing control panel. The extinguishing control panel shows that one zone is in alarm state and sends a signal to the fire control panel. The fire control panel triggers messages on security center monitors or pages security staff. Visual and acoustic alarm is activated. The fire control panel also sends a command to reduce the ventilation. As additional smoke develops, the point type smoke detector triggers a fire alarm and signals to the extinguishing control panel. The extinguishing control panel shows that two zones are in alarm state. Evacuation is initiated by visual and acoustic alarms and voice instructions. The main alarm is transmitted to the fire department. The extinguishing process is activated and a delay time of 30 seconds is initiated. All openings in the flooding zone must be closed. People should leave the room. After the defined operational delay time has elapsed, the flooding of the Cinerix CDT extinguishing system begins. As the flooding begins, the overpressure flaps open to ensure the structural integrity of the room. After discharging the entire extinguishing agent, the retention time of 10 minutes begins in order to prevent reignition.